I am Dr. Ellen Kumaran, Medical Director, Corneal Transplant, Cataract and Refractive Surgeon at Navashakti Netralaya, Outer Ring Road, HBR Layout, near Nagavara Flyover, Bangalore. Eye injuries are broadly classified into three types. It could be chemical injuries, usually because of a splash, or it could be mechanical injuries because of direct impact, or it could be because of suspended particles in the air. Now we should also remember that eye injuries can happen anywhere. Most commonly it happens at the workplace due to lack of proper eye protective gear. It can also happen during sports and other activities such as a shuttlecock or a tennis ball injury to the eye or a cricket ball injury to the eye or it can also happen at home with household cleaning detergents or any sharps such as knives and other things. If it is a chemical injury, the first aid that has to be done is immediately wash the eyes with clean water. When I say clean water, the quality of the water should be such that it should be, you should be able to drink it. It's called portable water because other solutions are not available at home. At least portable water has to be used. Wash vigorously. The chemicals that cause maximum damage are usually the alkalis. Acids also cause damage and for alkalis we suggest a wash for at least 30 minutes in continuous running water. So remember this, wash profusely. If it is a mechanical injury, again it can be divided into blunt injury and sharp injury or penetrating or perforating injury. Either of these two cases, you just have to pad the eye and take him to the nearest doctor. Both chemical and mechanical injury requires padding of the eye. Now pads are not available at home. So a small cup, plastic or paper cup can be used. Ask the patient to close the eyes, apply this cup, apply a tape over that so that there is no extra injury and take him to the nearest doctor. The most important thing is the eye should not be touched, should not be rubbed and nothing should go into the eye. Remember, I said that chemical injuries wash profusely with water. As regards mechanical injuries, the advice is do not use any water and contact the doctor as early as possible. As regarding suspended particles, the impact of injury is usually less. The damage is also less. It happens because of suspended particles in the air going into the eye. Usually it happens while traveling on the road or when you are facing a gush of air. In these cases, we can again wash the eyes again with portable water profusely, bandage the eyes or keep a cup over the eye and take him to the nearest doctor possible. Most important take home message in any injury is not to touch the eye or rub the eyes.